Dance and praise Him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. He said, Behold, I will make you a threshing sledge, new, sharp, and having teeth. You will thresh the mountains and crush them. You will make the hills like chaff. Have you ever wondered why the hymns we sing are anointed, meaningful, and full of impact? After hundreds of years, it is consecration. Denier and sacrifice.
Beloved, our generation is waiting for our manifestation. If our lives are not correct, we cannot manifest correctly. Instead of being a sound, we will only be a noise. My prayer for us today is that instead of being a noise, we will be a distinct sound in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't like this sudden visit. So what's in it, you coming to the church? I'm sorry if you don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry it won't happen again. So why are you here? I'm leading the song we're doing on Sunday. I just wanted to see your face. I've missed you. You're not serious. Which night did I spend at your place? Uh, that's like... Okay, three nights ago. So? After all, it's my face you said you're here to see and you've seen it. When am I going to see you again? Later. This is my face. I said later. Okay? place of hard work, scoring a song. I so much believe we're going to have a great ministration on Sunday. Yeah. Adia, what is happening? That's true, you've been moody. What's the problem? Please, can you confide in us? It's not time to discuss it yet. It's a tough one on that day, please, girl. <laughs> How was the night? Not now, please, not now. I'll call you back when I'm less busy, okay? I love you. Bye. Who is that? Is that the reason you refuse to consider my feelings about you? The best we can be is office colleagues. The lady. Please, let the sleeping dog lie. Do you get that? But, that's a difficult thing to do. Where is the file of last month's production in Calabar? I have sent it to you, sir. Is that so? Yes, sir. Let me go with you to your office and show you. Yeah, come on. Yes, sir. me in the room and you are here in the kitchen. You know, this is the important part of this whole house to me. Well, that's by the way. So, when next are you coming? We have three days program in my church and as one of the important members of the worship team, if I'm not present, my absence will be noticeable and my pastor will definitely ask about my absence. Well, you have not answered my question. You know, ever since I've discovered your sweetness, I don't want to let you out of my sight. I know, but we must give God what belongs to God before coming to Caesar. Am I Caesar? You are not serious. Are you telling me I won't see you for like four days? That's like hundred hours. Babe, don't kill me. We must not let them know about our relationship yet. I don't care. Let the whole world know that I'm drunk with your love. 
Wow. I bet you, I'm going with you to that supermarket when next you are going for shopping. Ah, why is this woman wasting our precious moment? We have come for rehearsals and not for Bible study or prayer meeting. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We are fine, ma'am. Amen, ma'am. That is what I dislike about Madam Fritan in this department. We're here to fine tune our songs and not to perfect Bible knowledge. Friends, this is where we are getting it wrong. The spiritual controls the physical. If we don't just want to sing, but sing with meaning and impact. We must lay it on the foundation of prayers and the word of God. These are what will empower our ministration. Eh, eh, eh. What are you saying? You think you are more spiritual than us? At least I still lead the <laughs> praise and worship better than you do. It's all about your dynamism. If you know how to psych the people and get them elated, then you've scored the points. I think we don't have to argue on this. When Paul plants Apollo waters, if God refuses to bless it, such efforts will be in vain. Whatever. Have I offended you girls then? Forgive me. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> Really? Danjuma, please drop the call. It's my mom. I'll call you back. Hello, mom. Princess, how are you? Fine. I miss you and dad. We miss you more. How is everything? Not bad, mom. We bless God. Princess, why praying this morning? It was impressed on my heart to ask you this question. Which question is that, Mom? Oh, you have not forsaken the ancient landmark that I and your father set your feet upon. Not at all, Mom. Don't you trust your daughter again? Not that I cannot trust you. But the battle of seed is so fierce. And God said in Psalm 102 verse 28 that our children must continue in faith. You must not give in to the pressure of sin. Okay, mom. Your daughter is still as chaste as you knew. Thank God. For some time now, I have been uncomfortable whenever I think of you. And I don't know the reason. You know what, mom? What? We had three days program in my church last week and I led the praise and worship most of the time. That's alright. You will not fear God. Amen. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. This is a good job. The church is not boxing in numbers and in population. They don't know that most of their members are unbelieving believers. Their scripture says, The Lord added to the church those who are to be saved. Our activity is making the church to be populated with those who are not ready to be saved. You are right. We are all out to make them regular worshippers without forsaking their lives of sin. That way, they will live a life of self-deception. You are all making headway in your various assignments. You and those under you must not relent. Let them be full of activities. Let their preachers mellow down their messages. Or let them shy away from preaching hard against sin. 
give them another gospel. Let your worship be a ritual. Like the Samaritans of the old. Who gather together to worship the living God in the morning. And still went back to their various idols. We modernized state for that Samaritan woman. She was passionately worshipping on Mount Samaria. Yet, she never saw a being an alert, an abomination to the living God. She was giving excuses for changing husband like rappers. We must never let them realize that for such excuses, there is always an accuser. Now, go and intensify your efforts. Perfect your strategies. The writers won. We are soon return. Let's see him abide in the midst of his church like water in the sea. Seeing becomes their way of life as they increase numerically. Let them focus on gold, jewels, and glory. I mean, finance, females, and fame. Now, go back to your back. Go to lady calls herself a Christian. I've never seen a trace of that in her. Check this, check this, check. <laughs> what? I have been expecting this. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
This call for a drink. Let's let's celebrate this man. Ajuma. How do you keep doing this, Ajuma? Don't worry, you are growing in the game. You are growing in the game. I'll take you there. Please do watch my footstep, man. Yes, thank you. You said you want to discuss something with me. When you're done. Never mind, just go on. All right. I saw you last week at the GRA with this guy we met at the supermarket. Which guy is that last week at the supermarket? Your bill is 6,585 Naira. 6,585 Naira. Okay, no problem. No problem. Good evening, sisters. Good evening. How much is their bill, please? It's 6,585 Naira. Please do me the honor of paying your bills. Oh, thanks. Maybe some other time. I seriously would like to pay your bills. Don't bother. All right. My name is Danjuma. All right. Oh, 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 oh. It's Danjuma you're referring to. 
Yes. Have you forgotten what the security man at the supermarket told us when we asked who he was? I can't remember. He said Danjuma is one of the Yahoo boys in town. Lies. Lies. If you don't move close to someone, it will be difficult for you to say who that person is. Danjuma is not a Yahoo guy. Danjuma is a complete businessman. That's also fine. But that's not the issue. Then what is the issue? What is between the both of you? Oh, now I know. If you must know, he's my fiance. Fiance? Yes. Or am I too young? But he's not a child of God. That's by your standard. Oh, oh. I understand. Is it because you don't have someone to call your own? Adia. Adia. Is that what you're taking it to be? Is it a crime to see danger coming and calling your attention to it? I'm sorry. Could this be true? No. This can't be true. God. You know my heart. You know that I want good for Adia. This is a challenge. This is a challenge, oh God. Adia has challenged you on my behalf. You know all things. You know that I've never spoiled myself with any man. Remove this reproach from me, oh God. I've been waiting to see your salvation. <laughs> Give me a man that will serve you together. <laughs> Somebody tell me which of these two is more important? Our work with God and our work for God. Our work for God because that is what specifies our reward when we get to heaven. What of working with God? No, you don't work. Any disagreement? I think our work with God is more important than our work for God. Beloved, the Lord is more interested in our lives than what we do for him. When Jesus Christ called the first disciples, he first called them to himself that they might be with him. The Lord values our relationship than what we do for him. Either with us or without us, the Lord will still do what he wants to do. You see, Several people will have rewards in heaven, but they themselves will not be able to make it. It is my prayer for us that ours will never be like that in Jesus' name. Amen.
mine will be the latest. Thank you, Jesus. I stand amazed in your presence. Hello, sir. My dear, how are you? How was your night? Fine, sir. Where are you now? At the office, sir. Will you be at the service this evening? Definitely, sir. Good. There is something we need to discuss. That means you need to see me before you leave the service today. All right, sir. Adia. It is very important. I will see you, sir. I will be expecting you. May the rest of your day be blessed. Amen. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. I don't want to believe what I'm thinking. But if... Let me save it till then. What are you thinking? What's your business with my thoughts? Apologies. God's timing is completely different from man's timing. My daughter, the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness. The Lord taught me to tell you that he has heard your prayer just like he did to Hezekiah. Therefore, your set time to be favored has come. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Go in the peace of the Almighty and be prosperous. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. How are you doing? How was work today? Fine. What I saw overnight baffles me. I saw you feeding a pig. As you left the scene, a dog followed you until all of you have disappeared. Pig, sir? A dog followed me? What does that imply? There are questions I need to ask you. Which question is that, sir? Are you into any dirty affairs? I mean relationship that is against God's will. Re re relationship, sir? Be before I could go into any relationship, I would definitely seek for your consent. Pick the pits, dirty dealings that is against God's commandment. Wild dog represent the spirit of fornication. Adia, if truly it has not happened, then you have to be very, very careful, else you run into immorality and shady dealings that will soil your life. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Amen, sir. But remember, Adia, we will destroy anything that has life that's supposed to bring forth fruits. When they have eaten the life out of those grain, those grain no longer fulfill their purposes in life. Just be praying for me, sir. I've never stopped praying for all of you. Thank you, sir. Well, Going to Lagos. We must leave with the Monday flight. We have so much to put in place concerning this wedding. Or you won't be available. What are you saying? <laughs> I trust you, man. <laughs> you have to release me now. I have to get going. Right? All right, we'll discuss more on phone. Right? Let me see you. Okay. Yeah.
My dear sister, where there is mismultitude in any spiritual gathering, the flow of God is being affected. Mixed multitude? Yes, my dear. As they are in the church, they are as well in every department of any denomination. You see, there are the problems in the body of Christ. Really? Hmm. In the choir, they become snail to innocent brethren. They are bad influence in the body. They defy the sacred altar of the Lord and weaken the simple-hearted Christians. You can never see them submitting to the covenant of God nor to sound doctrine. They bring pollution to the body and weaken God's power amongst his people. Lord have mercy. Well, how can we know them? We don't have to look around. If our prayer life is sound hmm, and we don't indulge in sin, the Lord will expose them because their folly shall be made manifest. Excuse me. Hello, sir. All right, sir. Yes, sir. I will see you tomorrow morning in the office. Good night. Hmm. My dear, as I was saying, how come Adia is three months pregnant and we are not aware? What? Adia three months pregnant? Sir, I don't understand. I mean, a member of your department is three months pregnant? Hey, oh my God. How can this happen? Sincerely, I don't know, sir. It beat us all. No wonder the Lord said, Who is blind but my servant? Or deaf as my messenger whom I sent? Who is blind as he who is perfect? And blind as the Lord's servant? Sir, this is completely strange. The most painful part of it is how she has desecrated the Lord's altar, leading God's people in praise and worship in immorality. Henceforth, she stands suspended. Okay, sir. I dear. Hmm. My daughter, Eddie, my son, and your HOD. Here, not to ask you why you did what you did. We never condemn you, and we seriously condemn the act. Moso, you are an integral member of the family. God has never condemned you. God still loves you, and He has not given up on you. <laughs> I'm very sorry <laughs> for disappointing God. <laughs> you <laughs> and the entire church. <laughs> Trace your steps. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>
verse 9 to 24. But in case we have no time, I just want us to understand the premise of what we are going through today. That the woman in question that they call the Samaritan woman, who was by the way, her story is written in John chapter 4. And from that story you introduced that this woman came up to the well to fetch water. Have you met Jesus? The captain man of men, have you seen him? He asked her of water. Now this is what happened. This woman came to fetch water, only to be told there is a source of water that is greater than the well whereby she had come to fetch. This woman expected Jesus to give her the water that she needed to, to drink. That she would never come back again in that very place to fetch water. But Jesus says something. He says, you are looking what is impossible because there is a God that you don't know. We know who we worship. We worship the great I am. And the time has come that only people who will worship that God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Because we know who we worship. And we know who we worship. We know why we worship. Who we worship. If there is anyone that do not know who he or she is worshiping today and is sitting down in this congregation, the same question will be asked to you today. We live in a, a place whereby each and every one believes that I am a Christian. And in the actual fact, he or she doesn't know who he worships. May I say today, the worshippers of God worship Him in spirit and in truth. And if you cannot worship God in spirit and in truth, signify that you are very far, very far. What led this woman to have five husbands and was not living with a sixth husband? It was because she was blinded of the reality of life. This is unfair. What is unfair? Where have you been? You left this town without even telling me. I've been to your place several times, but your door was always locked. I called your line, but you refused to pick. Why? Benjamin, why are you avoiding me? Avoid? Why should I avoid you? It's simple. I lost my contact, everything, yours inclusive, so I couldn't reach you. But you know my place. Why didn't you look for me? Well, I'm sorry about that. You, you, you have a baby now. Is it a boy or a girl? He's a boy. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Ghana, Ghana. Kagama? Nani? He's your child. What did you say? I said he's your child. Here, yeah, off you go. What do you mean? When I discovered I was pregnant, I went to your place several times, but I was told you traveled, and every effort I made to get across to you was futile. I gave birth four months ago. 
Did I promise you marriage? Not to talk of pregnancy. You are not serious. What did your Bible teach you? Didn't your Bible teach you abstinence before marriage? Well, girl, I only played on your gullibility. For your information, I'm married. What? Married? Please, can you step on the road? <laughs> please step on the road and shut the door. Please, 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 please. I have to leave now, please. <laughs> go, go. Get out. Get out. <laughs> And here. attention to it Thank you. 